We want to know the truth. If there is someone involved between you and your person. Because you have this feeling that they are entertaining someone, but you're just not sure. But you already know, kind of. You just need a clarification from them. You just need to kind of, like, validate. So is that a friend or who was that? Or, you know, like, are you talking about, are you talking to your ex or someone? And it's like, are you talking to someone? In a very casual way. But it feels like the Libra already knows what it is. You just want it basically from the horse's mouth. Libra, let's see what this is about. First week of June, I wear my PL. My business doubled the store, our e-commerce. It was like overnight. And I said, I'm going to share this secret. We started making it. And then people started to give me their feedback and how it has helped them. Now is your chance to manifest your dreams. Use this PL available at our website, eatreadlove.me. Okay, Libra. Mm-hmm. Ace of Swords right here. For you, it's like... In order for the relationship to succeed, the lines of communication has to be open. And truth is always going to be a big factor. It's the main factor. It's the second factor besides the love. We love each other, but we got to be loyal to each other. You know, the rest, manageable. Patience, consideration, appreciation of each other. But love, trust, and loyalty, basically. That's a symbol of the Ace of Swords. Well, except the love, right? Trust and loyalty. Now, you have a Three of Cups, Libra. It's not easy to trust someone who has history. What does that mean? A history of cheating. A history of flirting. A history of, oh, it was nothing. He or she just kind of like, you know, we just talk. It was, it was just talking. It was nothing. It was nothing. He was not. If it was nothing, do you really have to do that kind, you know, like, because there was some, some sort of like crossing of boundaries between your person and whoever that they were kind of ish. Okay. There was crossing of boundaries. I saw your question. So you're that close? You, you. Okay. Knight of Cups. Because this is a two of cups before it becomes three, right? The knight is a person who's looking for love, soulmate, you know, wants to dive deep in emotion, you know. But this is your side, this is your read. So you want to connect with your person, right? You want to dive deep with your person as far as like this uh, uh, knight of cups is like, um, it's a message, so you want to talk to them openly. No judgment, no judgment, but just be honest. This is what you're saying to your person. Just be honest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, do we really have to? There's a lot of triggers here. Seven of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. You found out the lies. Ace of Swords and Seven of Swords. You found out the lie. Ace of Pentacles is the evidence. The message. You could have seen them talking, messaging, you know. It's tangible evidence. Seven of Swords, you got this in a sneaky way though. I don't know how how what how what you did, resources that you have, Libra, but you do you. How you found out, not my business. So what do you do? Ace of Pentacles is here. You're, you're with them also. You're serious with this person. Seven of Swords with the Ace of Coins here. <sighs> Star card. Ace of Wands. Oh, a lot of Aces here. How many chances have you given this person? That's my question. Because with the Star and the Ace of Wands, you know what I'm seeing here, Libra? Is that you're gonna give this another chance? I'm not. I'm not the one to judge. But the star is hope, healing the situation. Ace of Wands is the new beginning. It's Ace. Two of Wands. Oh, okay. 
The world. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, I see. So the two of wands with the world card here can be a long distance relationship. You have Aquarius, okay, Leo, Scorpio, and a Taurus. Um, two of wands is like with the Ace of wands. Like, what should I do now? So the door for you to to exit is there, right? The door for you to stay is here, okay. But you wish for something here with the Ace of Swords. Something about this relationship is your wishing, okay. This is the hope that you have. Okay. Man, this person is lucky of giving a chance. A Libra that gives a chance. Five of Swords is a war. Okay. Now the Five of Swords here, and the oh man, there is a war, and there's you're gonna argue with your person. Now the argument that you're having with your person here, okay. The argument that you're going to have with your person is more of like, um, I feel like you're going to argue because they're going to ask you for the chance. It's not actually given. You, you gave them that window. Okay. You gave them that window, three of pen, three of ones with the nine of coins. You gave them that window. But you were upset. You showed it to your person, Five of Swords. Now, if you're a person who's manifesting Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, stability in your career. Like, let's just say your career is is like not in its best, okay? And you want a promotion because you're this is someone who works, okay? For a company. And you want a promotion. You want the pay raise on a full moon. I don't know if it's coming full moon or new moon. Wear a piao facing away you. This one is citrine or the real gold. Okay, always pair it with another bracelet. The other bracelet, this is uh, for destiny. Okay, this is a black uh, uh, spinel. So wear it on your left wrist. Okay, and watch how the favor goes to you because you have a star card. So if you're connecting with that one, your wish can be granted. Okay, because that's Nine of Pentacles, so it's not an independent person. You work for someone here. Okay, so it, it can work for you because I see it here. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Wow. So I told you. Get the PL. Oh, I tagged the products at the corner of this video. Okay. Makes you happy. Good news. Positive news. Maybe bringing home the bacon. Libra, Ten of Cups. Okay. You see that? But relationship wise, I don't know. There's a tower. There's a tower, Libra. I'm seeing that something here is unpredictable. It's about to just like snatch your wig over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you're giving the person an opening and the tower is a separation. It feels like it's not over. You guys have could have kids with the Ten of Cups and you consider that? Oh yes, you have a justice. You're still in the crossroads. You're still trying to figure out. Here, it is a showing with the justice card. You're in limbo. You're still weighing it up. You haven't filed for divorce. You haven't separated from your person. Not at all. But the truth is something that you already hold on to. So you got an, uh, is that an arsenal? Okay. Like you got them by the neck. You got them guilty, basically. So this is now looking like you have the upper hand. Yes, you do have the upper, you have the upper hand here. Clearly, and your person now's next move is something that you need to get ahead of. Because you're already ahead. Okay. You already know that your person, justice in the Ten of Cups, you already know that they have these feelings. You already know their intention. But the next step is something that you need to, oh yes, you definitely have to. Because this way, Okay, it can be Scorpio or a Virgo. Okay, you gotta be smart, Libra. Oh yes, you definitely need to know their next move. If you are connecting with this reading, link in the description box below for the extended. I will continue it down there. Make sure to check out the PL that I was recommending. I'll tag it in the corner. Our website is eatreadlove.me. We ship it at International. I'll see you guys again.